Aquarius. This is your weekly zodiac reading. I'm sorry, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot, and it is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Let's stop right here. What I just want to say first and foremost to you guys is Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. I love you guys and I love how you've supported the channel and helped it grow exponentially, especially over these last six months. So thank you so much for recommending my channel to your friends, for watching the videos, for liking them, for sharing your experiences in the comments, and for buying the extended videos. I am so grateful for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope you have a beautiful turn of the year and new year. Um, now back to business. Uh, there's always an extended after every video. You know that. The link is below. I hope you guys can join me for it. If you're not subscribed for this to this channel yet, please, Aquarius, make sure you click that subscribe button and then ring that notification bell and select all notifications so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Aquarius content comes out every single Wednesday. Um, I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation and I'm going to go live there daily. The daily tarot card readings will happen there now. So I'll attach the link above and I hope you guys can connect with me over there as well. And then join me on Instagram, join me on Facebook. You can find all my other social media platforms in the links provided on the banner on my main page for the YouTube page. You can see in the right hand corner, there's all those little icons. You just click on it and it'll take you right to my one and only profile. There's so much spamming happening on Instagram, especially. I don't want any of you guys to get misled by any of the false accounts. So just follow the links that I provide through those icons, okay? Let's go. Aquarius, what have we got for you this week, this Christmas week? Even if you don't celebrate Christmas, it is Christmas week leading up into that holly jolly holiday. What do we've got for you? What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? One, oh, sing your own song. Baby, without care without fear and without worry. You are spreading your voice, you are sharing your voice, and without concern, you are still being heard. This is also a song of liberation. This is sharing a part of you. And what a wonderful time to share a part of you then toward the end of the year when you can recap and understand what it is you've learned. This is music to your ears. This is your own personal liberation. This is an expression of everything that you are. Okay, let's get, this is just the beginning. Use your mind wisely. When pigs fly, this is my when pigs fly card. This is you taking a higher perspective on things and maybe even representing or singing about that higher perspective. This is, it could be you whistleblowing, right? Calling somebody out on their bullshit, calling some people out on things that they're doing wrong, um, drawing attention to it through drawing attention to yourself by talking about it. This is also a sense of maybe you never thought you'd get this freedom. Maybe you never thought you'd get this opportunity, but you're definitely getting this opportunity. The impossible happens in this energy. Be here now. This could be partnership for those of you looking. This is Libra energy. This is connectivity. This is also Venus energy. Venus is yes in retrograde. You could be hearing from somebody that you haven't heard from in a while. And it doesn't even have to, have to, oh, you guys are getting back together. No, it could just be, it doesn't even have to be romance. It could just be, I'm finally getting to actually express myself the way that I needed to express myself, especially if something was seated very, heav seated very heavily on your heart, right? This is a sense of it balancing out and you being able to fit, but lighten up the air. These are all air. This is all air. This is, this is it. It's it, it light, lighten up the mood, lighten up the spirit, lighten your yourself by liberating yourself and expressing yourself finally being able to get something off of your chest and then we have the abundant universe will provide and this is definitely Taurus energy buffalo is a, a great spirit 
uh, totem. So ultimately, this sense of you are not alone in this. Um, it's also maybe just sort of like speaking about the importance of the earth, the importance of the animals, the importance of understanding the connectivity that we have to all of them. It could be you speaking out. It could be you showing up to those protests. It could be even just you drawing attention to the beauty of this world, whether or not you're trying to get attention for it or not. You probably will be getting attention for it, trying to level things out, trying to uh, like make people open their eyes, um, seeing something, seeing something for the first time, all of these beautiful things. But the abundant universe will provide is definitely feeling cared for. And maybe that's that's something that you have struggled with for, for you know up until now. But ultimately is yes, this time around, Aquarius, you are cared for, you are cared about. Could be a Taurus in your life. This is just this is it, it's like it's like feeling liberated by feeling grounded. You know, it's like it's like your roots have provided you the freedom to fly. Isn't that interesting how that happens? But that's that's our universe, isn't it? It's all a bunch of contradictions, not contradictions, but balances, contrast. It's like gravity here holds us down, but it also allows us to, it also allows us to expand and grow and so much to happen, right? It's, it's why we continue to spin the way that we spin and revolve the way that we revolve. And it, it's, it's just, it's the push and pull, right? It's gravity and inertia. And this is a sense of, of really connecting to um, understand, like connecting to, wow, I am supported. I feel the support. And because I have that support, I now have the liberation. It could even be that you're, you know, you're getting resources in to, to support your growth, right? You're, I don't know if this is an investment or linking with somebody. I don't know what you guys were up to and looking for, but you have it. You have what you need. We have you see clearly now. This is definitely your energy. This is wisdom, right? This isn't thinking through intellect. This is thinking through wisdom. That's experience and compassion poured into a knowledgeable understanding of things, right? Um, being able to see in the dark, maybe being able to see things that other people can't see, have an awareness or a foresight that you knew something was going to happen or that you know something is important. This is also the wise old owl, right? Telling the truth, not like, in other words, you see clearly now you can't see anything but the truth and nor can you can't speak anything but the truth either. So this is being able to really tell your truth and uh, cut through bullshit and lies too. know your worth is here. This is beautiful energy. You're not trying to be anybody but exactly who you are. This is beautiful energy for you. I really fucking love this energy for you know your worth. You're not trying to be anything but who you are and you're loving what you love. This is a sense of, yes, I'm a skunk. I'm not trying to hide myself in the flowers. I just love flowers. I love being around the flowers. I love, I love the smell of the flowers, even though I smell like a skunk. I don't have to explain myself. This is just myself. And this is the glorious celebration of the self. This is Aries energy. So this is progress, making progress, um, taking bold steps forward. Um, and confidence and then we have time for a beginner mind and this is landing way in the future so you're not afraid to start over you're not afraid to start you're not afraid at all you have the support that you need to begin begin something new and you also have the armor on you because you've learned um, this is an armor that's weighing you down and making it impossible um, for you to move. This is armor that is allowing you to move into places where, you know, there could be predatory behavior, but ultimately you are well armed. You, you like, you know enough, like, you know, how to learn how to kick ass, right? Like martial arts and shit. Well, I'm a Kung Fu Aquarius. That's what's happening right now. Um, this is also a sense of you trying to start anew, start new, start fresh, um, like uh, change people's mindsets in general. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Where do I want to pull from? Okay, we'll go here. I've got to see which deck wants to talk to me, right? Because this is very general, but we're getting more specific. Choose wisely. So there was a choice that you had to make, right? Different paths that you could choose 
and you choose wisely and you have you see clearly now true the wise old owl so in other words you were faced with a decision that really you couldn't decide until now and you maybe you were holding it off maybe you're finally announcing your decision on something because you're finally certain about whatever that something is suffering in silence no more motherfuckers Oh, hell no. This is a sense of you're, you're flipping that on its side. Um, and this is your future goal. Your future goal is to not have to suffer in silence or, or to like liberate people from having to suffer in silence. You are definitely giving people the weapons, not real weapons, but like the tools, let's say tools, the tools to be able to fight back. So it's like, hey, underdog, because you think the little porcupine is like so, like so small, right? But people don't like, motherfuckers don't fuck with a porcupine. They just don't. Why? Because they can't. They can't because it, uh, porcupines kill people. They're not to kill people, but they kill predators and they kill them slowly because they kill them by those spikes come out and they don't die right away, but it's such discomfort and itching and they infect, infect, infect. And that's how they die. They die of the infection that sets in. They can't defend themselves from it. So it's a really heinous way to die uh, in the wild. So most motherfuckers do not fuck with porcupines. They just don't, right? <clears throat> in the wild. But it's like domesticated dogs that really like don't know what they're after when they're chasing porcupine and really can get hurt. So anyway, I got off on a tangent. But ultimately what I'm saying is he looks like a little motherfucker. He looks like he don't know what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing and he's well protected. This is the rise of the underdog and it's putting it's putting those tools in the underdog's hands so that people don't have to uh, suffer and, and and be sad anymore they don't have to do that um they don't have to hide what they're feeling this is a sense of liberation not just you being liberated i don't think that you would be happy enough with that you also want to liberate other people too there was a choice to make and you really are being able to make the right one now, which direction should I go with this? Which direction should they go with this? That's a really good question. Let's ask the cards. Which direction should Aquarius go with this? Let's put it this way. Whatever you're choosing, and this is 777. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Right in front of me, 7, and then 4 plus 3 is 7, and 3 plus 4 is 7, 7, 7, 7. Lucky strike, man. You got it. You got it. You worked for this. You earned it. You did. So you are striking it, striking the, ooh, striking when the iron's hot. And then we have not for you. Something is not for you. What is not for you? Nope. You're saying no. Learning how to say no to something. Choose wisely. You, you chose to say no to something. You chose to say no to something so that you could heal inside. This was a refusal. A refusal of what? I don't know, but you definitely were like, I, I'm not obligated to this. You're not making me sign up for this. Nope. Nope. You're not, you're not backing me into a corner. Maybe it's just a sense of, I deserve to have choices and not you backing me into a corner saying it's only one way. I'm not going to make myself suffer so that you, so that, that you can feel good about something. The answer is no. This is you setting boundaries, man. This is it. You having the strength to be able to do that and also share that abundance with others. That porcupine, that sense of I'm not defenseless. I'm not a victim. I'm not any of those things. Oh, I want to get deeper. Oh, come on. Come on. What else is there? Um, what, the, what is this, dude? Uh, peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. This is in, this is buffalo showing up here white buffalo damn let go of the need to be right aquarius this is in the past oh so you had to face your own pride oh you you really had to face yourself before you could face anybody else and i think this is why you're so bold right now is that you faced the most formidable enemy haven't you you faced yourself and you've also really got into the bottom of wow look at what i was doing look at who i am oh this is deep shit dude um and then we have spirit fox uh trust your talents in changing times yeah it's almost like you're on the pinnacle of or you're you're in the lead of 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 a mindset 
or your skills or talents were 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 on the like um, the forerunner. Um, move in 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 a, in a new direction. Um, you're getting an opportunity here that's opening up for you, right? And you're choosing the one that's right for you. You're not you're not you're not doing the one that was expected of you. Um, but also, I think people are starting to see that, you know, your talents and skills can be applied in a lot of different places. You're taking an opportunity that may surprise people, but ultimately it's aligned with your greater good, your greater sense of self. Um, what is this choice? What is this choose wisely? I need to know. The bitch needs to know. Okay, what is this choose wisely? What are they supposed to be choosing? Yourself. You're supposed to choose yourself. I'm not fucking kidding you. This is Aquarius energy. This is the star card. It's also a sense of choose your true north. Choose your true destiny. True, what, what is it that your heart wants? What your heart says? This is your star. What have you been wishing for? This is a sense of you get to choose this now. You get to choose what really matters to you instead of what you think and the stars are aligning for you. Uh, it's all general right now. Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll get more specific in the extended. But ultimately, the stars are in alignment for you right now, Aquarius. That's what it means. You're following your intuition. You're trusting what you're, where, where your, um, your psyche is leading you. You're connected, and you're also deeply connected to spirit. You're letting spirit be your guide. It says it right here. Move in a different direction. Maybe you're becoming an entrepreneur. You're you're not you're not working for anybody else. You're not going in anybody else's direction. You're sort of paving your own path. This is the Queen of Pentacles. You could also have uh, something doing with a a female. Um, a female earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, uh, Taurus, somebody who is likes to be in charge, who's good at being in charge. She doesn't necessarily take control. She's actually a really good boss, a, a female who's very responsible, cares about people, um, pays, pays, pays very well, that kind of energy. Um, so, but it also could represent your entrepreneurial spirit and moving forward yourself. It could also be somebody investing in you or you investing in somebody because you know it's the right move to make oh god Aquarius oh my god Aquarius there's more no 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 it's this deck it's this deck over here hold on moon moon what do you need to tell us what do you need to tell us uh, maybe what's all this what is all this about What do you need to tell us? Just tell me, God. What do you need to tell Aquarius? I know something has to come out of here. I'm, I'm just, I know it. What what I tell you? Balance spirituality and practicality. So it's not all about just like, you know, woohoo, spirituality. No, it's about how do I incorporate my sense of spirituality and my ideology into the fabric of what I am creating in life and also going in a business direction that is spiritually aligned like that's aligned not necessarily you're becoming a priest but a sense of it's aligned with your morals and your ethics and it's also helping other people align in that direction too don't let your past hold you back so this is finding forgiveness inside yourself um, this is south note check your south note whenever this card comes up I want you to really real look at how all the cards are for are, are they're moving forward this is like an arrow forward dude like for real you are not focused behind because once you learned how to like face yourself and eat your own shit and be like let, letting go of i don't need to be right it's not about being right it's about doing good right it's almost like all those things that you did in the past all those mistakes you made they're informing your way forward they're not holding you back and so anytime this card comes out Please go ahead and check your, your like, get a free natal chart. You can get them in many different places online. And check out where your north, your north and South node is. Because this is telling you, listen, it's time to leave your comfort zone. You've already learned these things. This isn't a bad place to be. But this is, like, where your karma is coming from and where you have to settle your karma, especially when it comes to relationships, not just romantic relationships, anybody that you love. Anybody that you have a closeness in, like, what is what is your relationship to the divine feminine, right? What is your role in uplifting the divine feminine as well as the divine feminine uplifting you? So ultimately, don't let your past hold you back. That shit is gone. 
right? Maybe you were a dick in the past. It don't matter. It don't matter. This is like forgive yourself, let it go. And anybody else who wants to throw that shit up to you, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter because you've already let that go and you already know you're not that person anymore. And then we have, oh shit. Whoa. Oh shit. Don't let your past, I didn't even, I, I just shocked myself. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Step out of your comfort zone. This is your north node. You found your path. You found your spiritual path. You found the path to be on. You, you, you found it. You found your true north. And look at, she's got that compass right there in the north. Move in a new direction. You're, you're moving. You're, you are moving. You know your destiny now. You may be actually physically moving, physically going somewhere. You're, you're, Okay you're 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 moving you're traveling you're you're elevating hopefully you're coming over with me to the extended <laughs> the link is right below i need to carry on this message i love you guys so much have a very happy holidays like this video share it on your social media platforms and join me for the extended i hope to see you guys over there bye